Welcome back to the thing. Is is my thing? Hey, <laughs> the more I look at this car, the less I think it's cool. <laughs> Like, I was trying to, like, you know, and then I realized I just kind of layered a load of stickers on top of each other and was like, ah, oh, yeah, like, just position them in a way that's kind of aesthetically pleasing. And you can kind of get away with, like, at a short glance of it looking like, oh, yeah, that looks kind of like a thing that fits the aesthetic. But it's actually just a load of bullshit layered on top of each other, you know? You just take a couple of, like, base colors you're going to use and get some vague shapes you like and arrange them as the base layers of your vinyl set and then you just put some like sponsors or some like more high detail things like the tiger or like the playing cards or like the graffiti things and just paste them over the top and it looks fairly professional anyway here's the problematic WRX where the computer uses the Subaru WRX and hacks it so that it's always faster than yours. There's always a Subaru that's faster than yours. Even this model Subaru. I have been outrun by this Subaru in the same Subaru when mine has ultimate parts because I put everything to max dirt and I think that's what I did wrong. Because, you know, my brain just goes, hey, I, like, this is my dirt car, this is the car for dirt, I will make it max dirt. Because, you know, I wanted to win dirt races, so it should handle well on dirt, right? That, that makes sense. Yeah, the game punishes you by gutting your car to, like, slower than the slowest car in the game. And then you're always second, and you can see the guy flying off into the distance in what will likely be a car that you'll like. Is either this car, or a car that you would, you know, reasonably think, that should be slower than this. So let's have a seat. Let's, let's spot. We gotta go fast. Like Sanic. Oh my god, it's literally the same car. It might be just be the same car, but with no, like, visual mods added. Look at this shit. And the game tutorializes the dirt sections by going, I know you won't have a dirt car just randomly before we've introduced these races. So, here's, you can borrow, like, the garage guy's dirt car. And it's literally this car that I've made here, except without vinyls. Like, it's faster than the one I have here. So, uh, yeah, I need to work out how this tuning system works, because you apparently have to balance your power between that and it able to go off-road and just create, like, a more rally-cross thing. That might help me a lot, because, <laughs> uh, a lot of the troubles I have left remaining are, like, you know, you haven't done these drift stages that are, are like, off-road. Hustle down. Game does not have enough off road content to justify me really spending loads of time, which is a shame because I like Rally. Uh, and they have like classic Lancers, they have classic uh, like Super Impressors, and they have some other stuff that could go off road. And they have a load of like things like Land Rover Defenders and stuff. really missed a trick though because they basically just refused to put anything really that is just like a handful of SUVs that you know for a fact are so heavy that they would not be able to go off-road and um, <clears throat> uh, like a Defender, a Land Rover Defender and some dumb trucks that look horrible which we'll look at soon <laughs> well, I made mine look horrible deliberately, but that's my fault. <laughs> Seriously, look at this shit. It's the same car. It's the same car, but like, it's the... Oh my god, like, what the hell? You see, I kind of screwed myself over, because I took a 
the Chevrolet Colvert Grand Sport that the game just EA DLC'd it for me. And I went, oh yeah, I'll just see if I can just put like a couple of off-road parts on this low-slung Corvette and it will just work and it doesn't. Uh, that was the only experiment I made before making this car and then went, okay, clearly I have to have everything maxed out to like a sarcastic degree of overkill because if I don't, it's just going to like immediately touch sand and lock its wheels and drop to like two miles an hour so like I'm not gonna win a race. But you do this and you're not gonna win a race because it literally can barely like crest 120 miles an hour without like freaking out so. <clears throat> I don't know what it wants from me. So we're just gonna gonna go to the next one. Just like Sonic would want us to do. I stopped too early. Aha, we now enter Leviathan. Yeah. We're gonna go into that weird surreal hellscape that's in um, uh, Hellraiser 2 Hellbound. Leviathan. <laughs> I love how the lady in that movie said that. It will always stay with me, like, every time. It's not very often I think about Leviathan, but, you know, maybe, like, the black metal band comes up and I'm like, Leviathan. <laughs> like, why did she say it? Like, rapturous or I guess, but, like... <laughs> now, every time someone says, hey, man, you go into this black metal festival, I heard Leviathan. <laughs> oh, that joke is for no one. <laughs> Holy shit. <clears throat> oh, yay, I'm being outrun by a fucking Amazon Volvo thing that was produced in like the 1950s or whatever. This is what I mean. What is this shit? This game is unbalanced as all hell. Point to me a dirt car that you can get a performance rating of 380 out of it. Point to me. Someone in the comments say, Oh yeah, you're just dumb. The game wants you to like use a Porsche or something off-road. Or like a Lamborghini because they've got four-wheel drive. So that makes sense. <laughs> or all-wheel drive. So therefore, it makes total sense for them to be off-road, even though that's bullshit. <laughs> like, because I'm going, ah, off-road cars. You mean rally cars or trucks? Because this game doesn't have any buggies, unless you can do some crazy shit with that uh, beetle. And you're just like, this, this is just bullshit. Like, the game is literally telling me in some of these events, this, you, you know, to win this off-road event, or, like, realistically, we recommend you should have a free 80 performance rating, and it's like, how the fuck am I supposed to do that if the moment I put on any form of tires designed for off-road, you half my performance rating? Like, literally, it dropped it, like, by 100 points once I put everything on there. Like it was at like 380 maybe at the top end, this thing when it's road, when you put dirt it drops like 320 to like 260 or something stupidly low. It's like my RX-7 with all of the max drift parts put on, it's just so underpowered and shitty. And now I'm fourth, I was beaten by a fucking mini. <laughs> God damn it. I do not understand. Oh well, for some reason this game just gives you fuck tons of money no matter what you do, so like, you know, like, oh, I'm fourth, here's all the money in the world, so. Beaten by the Zebra Mini. The shame. <laughs>